Hey folks, I've got a little bit of video for us to analyze that I just think is so beautifully done. So I'm gonna I'm gonna rewind this a couple times and kind of run you through some of the film analysis. So before we get started with that, let's just kind of watch the entire clip and listen to the audio. I came up with that one. I apply my personality and a paste. Oh, I doubt that very much. Well, you don't know me, so. You don't know, do you? Sorry. I was just trying to be nice. All right, so let's go break that down. Character one, nice and happy. Character two, nice and happy. Something said. And we're going to gradually see an emotional change with character one. Look at that face. Look at how the eyes dart around. Look at the body language. This is what it takes to do some good acting. Okay, so let's watch that one last time. Both of them smiling, both of them happy. Snarky comment. Another smiley comment. Was not well received. Eyes are going to start darting. Weird body language. Shifting around looking outside. Shrugs. And that was the change in the emotion. So before starting exercise number 12, you can see that I'm sketching facial expressions as a warm up. I'm thinking about the performance. I'm actually making facial expressions off camera while I'm drawing. It's just a little thing I do to get me in the zone. Now the goal is to pick a few emotions for this animation and then I'll draw them as ex extreme poses and then I plan to add in an eye blink and a couple eye darts in order to give my character some life. By the way, if you don't know anything about eye darts, make sure you check out this incredible video from Anim School uh, if you're curious about how to do it um, or if you want a really in-depth explanation of how and why to use eye darts. Anyways, I'll leave a link in the description. It's really good. You should watch it. So in this segment, you can see that I created a layout drawing of the main character's head and I did that so I could maintain volume while only focusing on drawing the emotions. I'm using the onion skin feature to help with continuity and the location of the eyes. When it comes to putting in an eye blank or an eye dart, I tend to use two frames of animation and those are typically on twos. So uh, think of that as like two drawings times two, that's four total frames. Um, done on two drawings. Anyways, um, I like to leave a pretty large hold, maybe about 10 frames, and then later I'll go back and watch it and see if it actually makes sense. Hopefully when you run through the first rough pass of the motion test, you can kind of get a sense of if it works or not. Um, you need to ask yourself, is everything showing up on screen long enough for you to understand what's happening? In the next segment, I'm focusing on tying down the poses. I'm thinking about squash and stretch to the head when getting the cheeks to match up with the blinks and the mouth movement. This is a good time to move the location of the head when you're trying to add to the performance. Here's a final reveal of the rough pass. Definitely some room for improvement. However, I think for this first shot, I think it does a great job of showing a change in emotions while adding in a little bit of life and thought to your character. Hey, do me a favor, go give this a shot. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.